Bro, when I tell you this winter sun is kicking my butt, it's all panels on deck today. Now, the front of my yard is pretty much useless for solar, but for now, I only have the Renergy Black Star <laughs> Black Division panel out here, which I need to move into the sun. I'll show you how much power that, that's going to generate in these conditions. Set conditions. 23 watts. When I tell you this thing didn't used to make all this fan noise when I first did the review, it is loud no matter what I'm charging it with. Don't quote me on that, but it's loud. Rich Solar. 200 watt. Let me show you what that's getting. All right, this one's giving me 60 watts. EcoFlow. Actually, my bad. That's this panel, the Bruge RV, 200 watt. All right, now this is the rich solar panel, <laughs> getting 80 watts. HQST 100 watt panel plugged into here, giving me 32 watts. XTAR 100 watt bifolding plugged into the Jackery, giving me. 26. Big blue 100 watt bifold. It's power station giving me 26 as well. 28. Sun conditions. Sun power 50 watt. 10 to 12 watts. All powers 200 watt. 98 watts. Blue at EB3A. Let's look at the sun conditions because they have changed. Renergy 100 watt flex panel, the previous version of the black label dip that's out front, plugged into the Sateki, getting. 47 watts. Can you see that? You just got to believe me. <laughs> this screen is not uh, cooperating. 50 watts. Three Renergy panels in series. Normal 100, Eclipse. In series, got a video coming about that soon. Let's see how much power. EB120, 83 watts. They look like they have some partial shade on them, but that's what it's getting. Renergy 320. That is going into my PowerWorks MPPT charge controller, which is charging this ampere time battery. We're going to have to wait for this to cycle a little bit to see the watt hours. No, we don't. The watts. 206 watts going in. Series HUSD 190s, two. Series HUSD 190, Bourgeois V180. Both of these, I actually don't know which is going into which, but the numbers are similar. 177 on that one. One, oh, 99. So that one must have a little shade. Let's go out and check again. Yeah, that other one. So we know this is the first set of panels. That's the second set of panels. You can see that this one has a little bit of shade coming off of this tree. Just a little bit. See how it got darker, brighter, shade. That's what's messing that up. They pretty much put out the same output. Difference of like two watts. Rock Pals 100 watt ETFE joint, quad fold. It's going into the Smartless. Let's put the Smartless in the shade a little bit. Downside of the smart list doesn't tell you how much power is pulling in. But if we had to guess, it's pulling in the same amount that the X star is pulling in. I don't know, let's go check that one. 37 watts. So it's safe to say that one's probably getting about that, maybe a little less. Now I'm gonna show you all the power stations I don't have on solar and how much power they can take in. Starting with the bull bat, it can take in about 110, 115, 120, something like that. Go Labs R300. 60. Sav comes 256 watt hours. Can take in 60 watts. Bowden's, whatever it is, 45 watts. Go Labs I200, 60 watts. Now, why am I telling you all this? This is my OG Renergy 50 watt panel, and I'm going to put it to use because why the heck not? And this is going to be a lucky power station because this goes in my kids' room typically to provide nightlight for them, a little extra light coverage, and it stays on the whole night, unlike some other ones. 23 watts. Let's compare it to the Golabs R300. 21 watts. The difference between those two, two watts. Now, there is one power station that I did not mention. If anybody comments which power station it is, you have to spell it correctly. I'm gonna give it away to that person. So only guess it if you're interested in winning it and you know what it is. <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> I don't know if that's fair or not, but we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. So I, I'll...